Howdy, 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 Night City. Um, yeah, so DLS 4. 4. DLS S4. The Revolution. Uh, NVIDIA have done some really good stuff. They've managed to make this for RTX 4090 cards. Really nice. Um, so I'm running the game here right now uh, with native 4K. Pretty much very maximum setting. Not maximum, but no DLSS. It's all disabled. Ray tracing full on. No path tracing. Uh, let me just quickly show you so you can see that. So here's the um, no resolute, no no on 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 ultra ray trace lighting. I'll put the crowd density to low because I'm getting a CPU bottleneck here. Uh, these are my options. Everything on high. Uh, screens place. Yeah, right. You get that. Uh, video 120 FPS, uh, full screen. Yeah, so you can see that. So it's running at like 60 below 60 mostly, and this is like in a quiet corner somewhere as soon as you start getting into uh places where there's people um 45 fps using the gpu like you can see that there 41 just got watching me post it 41 my mod with my um uh, billboard ads uh yeah you can see that look ray tracing in full effect uh it's using 97 um percent GPU and the, the CPU is now calmed down obviously it'll get a lot more if I suddenly put the density of C of uh, the NPCs up so just move around here okay this has got to be safe for YouTube look you see the ray tracing is on um, you can see some of the dodgy adverts in there so let's just move along here right let's just use this as an example right um, so this is very playable um, I think previously you wouldn't get this much. Well, no, you would, because there's no interference. What am I talking about? This is the standard RTX 4090 performance for this game of these settings at native. At native. Just ignoring those adverts for now. Right. There's a nice mod I got here, which makes the rooms look like they're sort of actual 3D rooms, which is really nice. Get that from the um, Nexus mod. Right, just make sure there's no dodginess. Right. So from here's this sort of viewpoint here. Let's just ignore her over there and just face over here. Right, I think we're good. So let's change the settings now. Keep it at 4K. Keep it at 120. Um, but now we're going to add the DLS Super and use it on Transformer model. And we're going to put it back to quality now. Okay. I don't think I need to restart this anymore. It can just automatically go in. And immediately, it's sort of gone up to 60, 70. Not bad. That's now really playable. If I set my desktop monitor to 60 FPS, I can definitely now play this with a steady 60 FPS. Wonderful. Really nice. Um, very smooth. And there's no image degradation either. Look, everything's nice. It looks almost like it's native. Um, there's no ghosting. It's really, really, really difficult to tell. Ugh. Oops, got to be careful. I've got to keep my eyes low, unfortunately. I don't want any of these adverts to come in there. Those ones are all right. Um, you know what I mean? It's like really nice. Great. You can hardly tell the difference. So but it's really chugging the GPU. So that's a really good performance gain. So now if we change it now even further and put it now on balanced. Uh, remember we've got a full ray tracing on now. Um, not too different. Remember it's lowering the resolution to do this. 85 is now really nice. Um, pretty good. And yeah, nice. Uh, not quite the 120 we were after. So let's just move around a bit more. I'm just going to run around. But 87 FPS is really nice. Uh, it's quite smooth. A lot smoother now. Um, great. So now if we try and change it to... And this is where it starts getting really funky. To performance. Right, so you see slight degradation, but now we're over 100 FPS. Oh, what's going on here? And look how smoothly it's 
um, now playing this. It's right on my 120 hertz monitor here. Um, it's really, really smooth. Feels really nice. Um, yeah, you got that lovely sort of visual element when you're turning. This is really great. If you look at this close up of this car here, look, there's no artifacts. It looks almost like it's native. That's pretty impressive stuff um, to keep this lo lovely high frame rate. Now, if we go back to the ultra performance now, we might even be able to get 120 FPS at some point but look at the utility the utilization of the gpu has gone down to 61 percent this is real budget um draw on the gpu look at that but the cpu is probably bottlenecking it um we can get 120 frames per second here uh, i've tried it um when there's less um npcs around if i just jump into the car um maybe we can drive somewhere and see that in action. Where's my car? Um, pretty incredible. Oh shit. Thanks. Um, over 100 FPS now with 64% GPU usage. Yeah, definitely some bottlenecking going on. But if I come out of here, see that what happens is when you drive in the cars, um, the. To go somewhere quiet. Um, but I'm not getting 100. Well, I was in the air I was in before a minute ago. Somewhere quieter, you're going to get that. But remember, we are running with these high settings, full ray tracing on. Um, can't get that nowhere near as good as this when you're running native. And, you know, the thing is, is what I've noticed as well, which is really, really fucking important, is that I am running a 48 inch LG OLED monitor, costs about a thousand pounds. Really nice, right? 119 FPS now here. Um, 120, there you go. Now it's running at its maximum. Um, and it looks great. This is during the daytime. Um, if I got close to the characters, there's none of that sort of warping, the faces sort of merging in. She looks great. Um, hi. Look, uh, I'm waiting for Okay, me too. Um, yeah, everyone looks cool. And, um, this is just fantastic, um, but it's just using only 70% of the GPU, um, which is fantastic. Obviously, if I, if I had a better CPU, I could probably push that, um, oops, push that even more. Robots. Autobots. All right, get out of here. See the ray tracing in full effect. So obviously, okay. All right, so here, it's kind of a bit more, a lot of CPU utilization. Right. Um, yep, yeah, using screenshot, there's Panam. So look, 110 FPS, really nice. Um, it just plays really smooth. It's like the turning's really smooth. It does feel like 120 hertz. Um, it's great. And, you know, it's just like amazing that you're not using so much uh, GPU to get these nice high frame and it looks pretty good so yeah what i was trying to say was that i'm sitting close to the monitor like literally about two feet away from this monitor okay two feet away so you could notice those details you could notice how how the uh, dlss really does affect the visual quality but seeing this close like this now um unlike dlss free um this is really good there's there's no imperfections it's just like yeah they've really upped the ante um we're not quite getting the 120 um fps that we we're after but still this is just great to be able to play it like this with full ray tracing on and not have my gpu feel like he's about to take off the case into the stratosphere for a change this is nice so really good to save in power and she is extra busty from the mod that I put on. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for people that don't like this sort of um, candid um, sort of um, style that I have. Go and watch someone else's video. So the point of this video that the point of this video that I was trying to make as well was that RTX 5090. That would be my normal sort of thing that I'd be gunning for right about now. 
salvating, chomping at the bit. But I can't be fucking arsed this, this time round. I've done it every time with the 3090, 4090. Jumped ahead of everyone and said, oh, i got to get one. And lost sleep and battled the demons and the scalpers to get one on day one. And I've been successful, but it's been the most biggest drama and headache known to man. And I just feel like, well, because DLS S4 is actually this good, do I really need to upgrade my 4090 to a 5090 for what, a third percent, third gain? They said about a third gain, which is quite a lot. But the cost of the car is what, two grand? I could possibly sell this card now for about two grand or slightly below that. It's a nice um, MSI card that I paid over two grand for a couple of years ago. Three years ago, I think it was now, however long, it, when it launched. Um, it's not been overclocked. Or any, oh, God, it's not been overclocked or anything. It's And it's, um, yeah, it's great. Um, so... Do I need to upgrade? Does anyone need to upgrade with DLS S4 being this good? And um, I'm going to demonstrate to you in a minute when we go down, which is the real deal here. And I think this is really important, especially if you're playing 4K60. Obviously, if you bump things down to 1440p and you sit further away from the monitor, and I think that's really important thing to add here to this whole equation. I've noticed that if I lie back on my bed here in the um, studio, um, the studio has its own bed, yes. Um, I lie back on the bed, which is probably about two, three meters away from the screen. Um, you can't really tell whether you're running in 4K or 1440p anymore. Uh, the details, you, you're not noticing fine because you're so far away. Um, so you can then bump it down to 1440p and have it at 120 hertz and it will look and play brilliantly even have the hdr switched on so the thing is that i wanted to show you now though, this is really cool is if we go to settings and turn the path tracing on i hope we don't have to restart right ray constructions now on i don't want uh, frame generation um you're going to get about like path tracing's on i believe 80 fps this is an ultra before 80 fps um, look at it look at it it's it's got a very soft look you, you can tell it's got a softer look uh, you can change the sharpness um but yeah it still looks good and when you're sitting five feet away you're really not going to care look at this gpu usage only 80 percent um you're not going to care 